Hey, what's up you guys, it's Dr. Lee here. In this video, I'm gonna be doing an in-depth explanation to this crazy glitch that I found a while ago. Quite a few people requested me to make this video because it's kind of hard to follow along. So I'm gonna show you guys what the glitch looks like and then I'll get into the explanation. All right, so there's a few things that you need to know about this first. The one is that you must be off host for this glitch to work. If you're the host, it won't react this way. Another is this only works on forge objects, meaning anything outside of forge world maps, like countdown, sword base, it won't work. This glitch only works with a couple of weapons, the DMR, the sniper rifle, the needle rifle, or the magnum. Grenades have somewhat of an effect, but not exactly. I'll, I'll show you guys that later. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, I call this the bullet collision glitch. Basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. The collision properties for some forge objects are very off. Forge objects, though, in general are very glitchy. Um, but there are two platforms that react more severely to this glitch, uh, which are the Colosseum Wall and the Brace Large. There are a few other ones that do the same effect, but those pieces aren't as common. Okay, so we'll start off with the Colosseum Wall. All right, so this image in the background kind of gives you a general idea of what's going on. If you look at where those antennas end up meeting up, it kind of forms a square, right? So imagine drawing a square. Anything inside of this blue square, the collision will act normally. However, anything that you shoot on the outside of that wall will get redirected to its closest collision point. Now then, what do I mean when I say the closest collision point? I'm going to explain it. Calm the fuck down. When I say the closest collision point, I'm talking about where the wall will actually register the shot. Since that blue square is where all the collision properties function normally, closest collision point would be on the lines of that square. Alright, so first off, don't judge my paint skills. I know it's fucking horrible, and it's honestly really embarrassing, but it'll get the trick done, so whatever. So just to go a little bit more in depth, let's say, for example, you were to shoot, I'm just going to use this line because I guess it would be easiest, right over here. It would redirect to its closest collision point, which is right there. Right? It doesn't matter where you shoot along this line. It'll stay at the same level, however, redirect to its closest collision point. Now then, this works in this entire box. So, for example, you shoot over here, it'll redirect right there, and whatnot. Same thing up here, it'll redirect to its closest collision point. It'll never go out of the way, so it'll always stay in line. And really, you could shoot anywhere and it'll redirect down to this blue line. Same thing with this, same thing with this. And in the corners, you can shoot anywhere, and it'll redirect right there. All right, guys, this is just as a demonstration. So anywhere in that top left corner, it doesn't matter. It'll just go right to that collision point. Also, he'll be using the different weapons, just show you guys that that does work. If he had had that at head level, it would have killed me. Also, on this last one, I asked him to shoot to the right of me once, just to show that it's like legit, I guess. Alright, so this is what happens if you're the host and you shoot at it. As you can see, there's still the bullet trail that shows up for everyone else. However, that bullet trail doesn't actually affect anything. Alright, so basically I'll keep this short and quick for the brace large. So this is what the collision looks like. Yeah, obviously red where the collision is off and blue being where the collision is good. So. Anywhere that you shoot up here will be leveled down here. So if you shoot anywhere along this line, here, 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 for example, it'll always redirect down over here, and so on. One thing to note is that on both these objects, yes, it does work on both sides. It doesn't need to be facing this way. It be flipped. It doesn't matter. It works on both sides.
you were to shoot someone that's standing up over here, for example, a little Timmy is walking by, you blame him, and there's also a guy down over here, what would happen? Would they both die? Turns out that only the person at the top will die. The person at the bottom will be completely fine. The collision with the player, or really anything that you put in front of it, will matter more than the actual piece itself. So the bullet would basically end up going through little Timmy and hitting the brace. Because little Timmy was the first collision, the brace behind it won't really matter. Alright, so when throwing grenades off host, when you actually end up throwing it, it will end up trying to redirect back to that collision point, as you can see, however exploding where you originally shot it. So it won't actually hurt you if you're standing where it tried to redirect to, however it could scare the shit out of you. Yeah, unfortunately, when you go for a ricochet and you shoot the ground where the collision's off, it'll count as a bloodshot. Alright guys, that about wraps up this video. I just want to give a quick shout out to Xcrated who spent two hours with me trying to figure out how this glitch exactly worked. I also want to give a shout out to Ghost Story who was in the game and uh, Pure Incarnate because He's actually somewhat the reason why I found this glitch. It happened by accident a couple years ago, and I only looked into it a little bit more about two years ago with x -Graded. I also haven't tested this out in Halo 4 or Halo 5, so it is possible that this could also work in those games. If any of you guys want to try that out, feel free. Let me know the results, because I don't have friends that play Halo 4 or Halo 5. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.